Here with Hofstra coach John Russo following the Pride's 6-4 win over UNCW in Game 2 of the CA series, clinching the series win. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you, guys. So, uh, some opening thoughts on how your team played today. You know, I thought they played, um, you know, really courageous. You know, um, thought they were the aggressive team, um, you know, the whole game. Uh, we put up five or six stolen bases. We played really clean defense. I think Rue uh, came out and established uh, six innings there without, um, you know, on a walk. You know, so made them earn their, their keep. We got some breaks with four errors by Wilmington, but listen, any club in the country is deserving breaks. It's Oscar baseball, so we'll take them and we'll complain. You had uh, eight of your nine uh, offensive players for each base. What's the importance of kind of everyone stepping up offensively and contributing? You know, it started, you know, about a week ago, uh, you know, to the day of Towson, you know, about that sixth inning. You guys know it. We were struggling, had a bad weekend, played bad on Friday, Saturday, and, you know, bottom of sixth inning, we've been a different club. You know, it just tells you how much a week uh, can change and mind. And they scored 10 runs, and I thought we were really offensive on Wednesday. And we just have a lot of confidence right now at the plate. Coach Weishire had a home run today, playing at first as well. How big is his bat in this lineup? You know, Robbie's been big for us all year. Uh, you know, leads us in RBIs and uh, driving in runs. And uh, he's just a, a great force at the plate. And I'm glad everybody got to see him uh, do that to center field. That's the kind of hitter he's become this year. You know, I told him that's what good hitters can do, and um, you know he's a really good hitter, and not surprised at all by it. Ryan Drew, six innings, um, you know, three hits, two runs, no walks, five strikeouts. What have you seen from him over the last couple of weeks in terms of his growth and as he gets more comfortable? You know, he's he's took the ball every single weekend all year as a freshman, and you know he goes out there and no more honest effort than what Ryan Rue does, and you know to have his work ethic as a freshman is incredible. He's had it since day one here, and. You know, he really takes care of his body, you know, in between starts and, you know, before the game in the bullpen, you know, wasn't sure what kind of stuff he would have. It's starting to, you know, wonder who we go to early. And then here it is, he went uh, six innings. And I think he had a little shoulder tightness or uh, something there in the end. And then, you know, we have Andrew go down with an ankle injury. And um, I think we'd all be remiss not to talk about Dan Page, you know, toting the ball there for two innings on a moment's notice. My plan for him was basically an inning. I mean, he's been throwing so much for us, three on, um, you know, Sunday and then one on Wednesday. And, you know, my plan was to give him the ninth, Andrew go two. And uh, so then I decided to change course and go uh, two with Dan only one time through your lineup. And, you know, I had Michael James sitting there, and it's, it's what you get from seniors. You know, they got to close out that type of game. And no um, – no less selfish teammates in the country than those two. And Matt Sidem, too. I don't want to, hadn't seen him yet, but he's going to come in the game tomorrow, and I think he's going to be pretty impressive. And just love how much those guys have sold out for us. Um, you know, we talked about Ryan Roos, but we're just talking about in general the, the freshmen. You know, contributions from D'Onofrio, contribution from Morash. You know, I know in the beginning of the season we talked about this team was going to grow and get better as the season progressed. And I think it, the proof is now on the field. And what have you seen from those guys? You know, I'll give you a great example. Is uh, you know, we had one first and second there, no outs. I let Parker swing the bat because I think you know three run homers in play. But the other part I knew was is if we didn't get it, that we could steal the bag. And you know, right after we got out right there, I knew D'Onofrio could take the bag, and then he takes it and they throw the ball away and um, scores a run. And I just thought, you know, we were the more aggressive team, and and that's a freshman doing that. But he's no longer a freshman. He's had too many over a hundred at bats, and he's ready to go. And then. You know, two outs, guy on third base in that same inning, and you get Morash gets the big knock and hits it in the left field there to drive in Joyce. And, you know, they're just not playing fearful and um, brought a whole brand to us. I mean, Flaherty yesterday and, you know, probably be back in the lineup tomorrow. And, you know, I, I think that their excitement, energy, and, and more importantly, confidence is just really rubbing off on everybody. And now, uh, four straight wins, how does winning sort of, you know, help with, with that confidence, especially with a young team? You no, know, it's funny. I just I said it already, but how much in a week changes? You know, and last Saturday night I'm having to uh, do a talk after losing two to Towson at home, and you know, getting ready to go here, and you know, and that series now feels like three weeks ago to us. You know, we're just a different club right now, and I've been waiting for us to play well all year, and we're just starting to play good um, baseball, and you know, really proud of you know not making an excuse of Andrew going down and feeling like, hey, the breaks aren't for us, things are, I, I said, let's go, we, we got this. We can move forward, and then, you know, they hit a home run to get it closer, Parker hits a home run to come back. They get a run, Rob gets a home run to go back. You know, we've been answering that. That's what good clubs do, and, you know, we're just starting to play like a good club, and I'm not going to apologize um, for it, because 
we've played well at points all year. We just never put together complete games. Today was a complete game. This weekend has been a complete game. All right, Coach, thanks. Good luck on uh, tomorrow going for this week. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach.